the objective is to double uh, the customers and double the sales. Uh, and our objective is to do that in the next six months. A bold experiment in bringing a community-owned grocery store to town is not working out exactly as projected. Good evening, I'm Paula Todi. And I'm Brad Johansson. The Clifton Market Co-op filled a huge hole in an otherwise vibrant part of town. But just six months after opening, co-op leaders confirm the store is getting only about half the customers they projected, and that's leading to what is termed a very tight cash flow. Local 12's Jeff Hurst looks at why that's happened and what happens next. The situation is registering here at Clifton Market. They need more customers and more money. The co-op sold memberships, $200 a share, 1,700 people, plus borrowed additional cash to make the $6 million store a reality. The market filled the vacant Keller's IGA, which sat empty on Ludlow Avenue for six years. Market board members confirm an email was sent to shareholders asking them to buy another share and spend more as shoppers. Liz Kaiser bought a house nearby recently, shops here every couple of days, and says having a grocery store in the community is vital. Everyone talks about when we were moving in and now it's still ever anything anyone talks about now that we're here. The market's financial crunch may confirm City Hall skepticism in the project. City Manager Harry Black opposed a $550,000 city loan, saying the development was too risky. And Mayor John Cranley vetoed a $400,000 grant, which had been approved by City Council. Co-op market leaders say they overcame doubters in the past and have plans to make the store work in the future. We need to fine tune it. We've gotten, we took a gutted facility, transformed it, and now we have an open store. So we were raising money all the time where we had just a picture in people's heads. The bottom line here at the Clifton Market is all about the bottom line. They've got to make more bread. No more bread. The place is dead. One big issue, competition. There are a couple of Kroger stores within a mile or two. It's definitely Clifton's David versus Kroger's corporate Goliath. For the community market to survive, it needs more buy-in from the community. I am a shareholder. Yep. I think people just need to give it more time. The big question now. 24, 27. How much time? Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News. In an effort to remain competitive, Clifton Market is now offering online ordering. Pick it up at the store for a $2 extra charge or for $10. They'll deliver your order anywhere within the I-275 Beltway and you do not have to be a shareholder member to shop there.